Hello everyone and welcome to this talk Deploying VMs and Containers across infrastructure providers Presenting Open Nebula's new Edge uh, Cloud Architecture In which we are going to review the new Open Nebula Edge Cloud Architecture Along with the one store solution that has been developed To improve the performance of running VMs at the edge And their deployment times First of all, I would like to introduce myself. So I'm Alejandro Huertas, a cloud engineer working at Open Nebula since 2018. I'm one of the main developers of the Edge solution, and I have also been working in the integration with public cloud providers like AWS, um, Equinix, or Google Cloud. Before starting, I want to say that most of the work done in this field has been performed thanks to the grant that the Open Nebula received from the European Union two years ago. And you can check all the work done in the latest Open Nebula version, which is the 6.2. So let's start talking about Open Nebula. Open Nebula is one of the main open source cloud management platforms. The project started in 2010. And as I said before, uh, the latest Open Nebula version is 6.2, which is this red square uh, version. Uh, Open Nebula integrates with a huge variety of hypervisors, so we support VMware, KVM, LXC, and Firecracker. And because of this, you can uh, run virtual machines, system containers, or micro VMs. Uh, Open Nebula also integrates with third party tools like Terraform, Kubernetes. Ansible or Docker. Uh, in the, related with this uh, latest, uh, we have an integration with the Docker Hub. So you can uh, download an image from the Docker Hub and run into uh, your Open Nebula installation. We have also other um, built in tools like uh, Sandstone, which is the graphical user interface, or Fire Edge, which is, which is the graphical user interface that is used to deploy these um, edge clusters and deploy all the resources related with, with them. So the idea is that uh, we want to have a meta orchestrator um, to manage your data, data center, uh, your IoT data center, okay? So the idea is that you can deploy Kubernetes containers or uh, virtual machines using um, Open Nebula uh, in your private cloud, so in your on-premise data, data center, or you can deploy it in public cloud providers in order to have these resources at the edge. So the idea is that your end users, the latency between them and your application is the, the lowest as possible, okay? So um, we have uh, developed this edge cluster architecture in order to deploy this, this kind of, of workflow. So how can Nebula uh, do it? So, this uh, schema is so um, a, a, a typical uh, Open Nebula architecture with a uh, high availability. So we have three three servers that uh, work as front end. So we have the leader and two followers. In each of these server, uh, we have uh, the main Open Nebula core uh, running, and also another services like the API or the web interface. In each server, we have also the image data store. So uh, the image data store is like an image repository. So you have there all your images that are going to be used uh, to run a virtual, virtual machine. Then we have uh, all the edge clusters. So each of these edge clusters is uh, composed by hosts that are going to work as a hypervisor, uh, storage, Okay, so in this storage, we are going to store the images for each virtual machine and also two kind of networks. The private networking, this is used to communicate virtual machine each other and also for management uh, networking. And the public networking, so this networking is used to trigger the virtual machine and also to communicate with them from outside the, the cluster. Okay, so this is a networking that, that your end user uh, are going to use to connect to their um, their application. Okay, so along with this um, edge cluster architecture, we have developed this one store solution. So um, this uh, solution has been implemented to 
full, fully um, to have some requirements. Okay, so they basically are um, focused in two different areas. So one of them is to improve uh, the performance of the VM or the micro VM or the container as the storage is local to the host. And the other is to reduce um, the deployment times. Okay, so uh, the first time you deploy a VM, it's going to take a bit as the image needs to be copied from the front end to the host. But the rest of the times, uh, this, um, this time is going to be uh, much less that the first one because the image is not going to be copied from the front end to the host it is going to be copied from the replica host to the host okay so let me explain this uh, a bit more so we have a three tier uh, architecture okay so the tier one these are basically the marketplaces okay so as you might know a open nebula comes with a integration with the open nebula public marketplace and also with docker hub as i previously said and also with this trunking Linux marketplace for a uh, container. So the idea is that you can download images from these marketplaces into your Open Nebula installation, but also uh, it, is, it supports private marketplaces. So you can have a private marketplace within your infrastructure that is going to work also with this uh, one store solution. Then we have the tier two uh, layer. Okay, so these are basically the image data store as i said an image data store is like an image repository so in this data store you are going to store all the images in your cloud and the virtual machines are going to take uh, the, the image from there in order to uh, run uh, run it on the on the hypervisor and finally we have this th uh, tier 3 which is basically the cluster replicas okay so we have all the all the hosts that are in our edge cluster and one of them is working as a replica server so basically this host uh, contains a couch okay with all the the images and when you want to deploy a new vm using one of these images instead of copying it from the front end it is going to copy it from the replica host okay so with this uh, we reduce uh, the deployment time a lot because we are using this management networking I previously told you about uh, in order to copy the image. So this is within the cluster and the, the time is going to be much less than the, the time from copying it from the, from the front end. Okay, so let's talk about a bit about the demo I'm going to do today. Okay, so basically we, uh, uh, we have the Open Nebula which is in near to my location. Okay. And using this Fire Edge uh, interface, we are going to deploy an Edge cluster. In this case, the Edge cluster will be located in, in, in Amsterdam and it will be in Equinix Metal. Okay, so this is going to be the provider we are going to use. Mm, so this X scenario has been already uh, created by me, okay, because it takes a, a bit in order to create the resources and then configure it, okay. And today we, are, we want to focus on the one store and edge architecture, okay? Not in the a tool that is um, is going to perform to deploy the edge cluster for you, okay? So this uh, provisioning edge resources has been already performed by me, okay? So this is a three-step um, process that you need to follow in order to have an edge cluster up and running into your Open Nebula installation. So first of all, you need a YAML. This is a definition file that is going to define the infrastructure with all the resources that needs to be um, allocated in the, in the resource uh, provider. Then Open Nebula is going to validate this YAML in order to see that all the resources are in place and everything can be deployed in the, in the provider. And finally, Open Nebula is going to uh, provision the resources for you. So it's going to communicate with the provider, create the resources there, there and then it's going to use Ansible in order to uh, configure the resources, installing all the software and all the things that Open Nebula needs uh, in order to deploy uh, machine, virtual machines uh, there. Okay. So as I said, these three steps has been uh, have been already performed by me. Okay. So I'm going to show it later in the in the Open Nebula installation, and this is the steps we are going to follow. So we are going to import an image from the marketplace. Okay, in this case, it will be the Open Nebula public marketplace. Then we are going to deploy a VM. Okay, we are going to see 
uh, how VM is deployed and uh, how many uh, minutes uh, it takes to be running. And then we are going to deploy uh, more VMs, okay? So we are going to see how the one store storage is being used and how the deployment times uh, are uh, reducing, uh, comparing it with the with the first uh, uh, with the first virtual machine. Okay, so now it's time to switch to the to Sandstone. Okay, so this is Sandstone. As I said, this is the uh, Open Nebula main uh, console in order to control everything related with Open Nebula. So first of all, I'm going to show you the the cluster, the Edge cluster. Okay, so as I said, this cluster is running in Amsterdam and it is running in Equinix Metal, okay? So if we check the cluster, this is an edge cluster that contains, in this case, two hosts, okay? So as you can, uh, you can see, we have uh, two different hosts. The first one, in this case, the host with ID1, is going to work as a replica host, okay? So this is the host that is going to store this catch uh, for all the images uh, that we have in the, in the cluster, okay? So now uh, we have checked the cluster and now we need to import uh, the image from the, from the marketplace to our installation. So in order to do that, we go to this apps tab, okay? So I'm going to import a Ubuntu uh, 20.04, okay? So we click on it and we just uh, import it into, into Open Nebula, okay? So we select the Equinix cluster data store, okay? And we click on download. Now Open Nebula, oops, sorry, it seems that we have the image previously downloaded. Let me fix it. Okay, so let's download it again. Okay, so now Open Nebula has created the two images, the, sorry, the image and the template. Okay, so let's check it. If we go here, we have the template. So a template is basically um, basically a definition of the virtual machine. So if we click on it, you can see all the information that Open Nebula needs uh, to deploy the, the, the virtual machine in this case. And then we have the image, okay? So this is a Ubuntu 20.04 image that in this case, the size is 2.2 uh, uh, gigabytes, okay? So we have the edge cluster configured. We have this one store driver uh, already configured and we have the template uh, ready to be deployed. Okay, so now it's time to deploy a virtual machine. In order to do that, we just simply go to templates, click on the template, click on instantiate, okay, and click here. So now the VM is in pending state. This means that Open Nebula is going to uh, take a look uh, and see that uh, it has one pending VM and the scheduler is going to deploy this VM, okay? So now uh, the VM is in prologue. So this means that the image is being copied from the front end to the host, okay? So we need to wait a few seconds until the image is in, until the VM is in running state. Now the VM is booting, okay? So if we wait a few seconds more, now the VM is running, okay? So let's take a look at the, at the time that it took uh, to, be, to be running, okay? So if we check the log, we can see that uh, the VM was, uh, was active at um, 21, okay? And the VM was running just uh, 25 seconds after, okay? So it took 25 seconds to be running, okay? Now let's uh, deploy a new VM. Okay, so the process is the same. We go to templates, click on instantiate, and instantiate the VM, okay? So again, the VM is going to be in pending. Now the VM is in prologue, okay? So this means it's being, it's being copied. And now the VM is boot, okay? So as you, as you can see, the, the process has been much faster than, the, than before, okay? So let's check it. If we click on it, and we go to log, the VM was active in the second 31 and the VM was running in 39. So as you can see, just eight seconds. So this is because this um, one store solution, as you can see, uh, we have reduced from 25 to nine seconds because the image has been copied from this uh, replica host. So imagine you have, for example, a large VM, like for example, uh, 10 gigab gigabytes. So maybe the first time it will took it will take like uh, 
uh, five, uh, ten minutes, depending on the on the network. But then the rest of the images are, are going to take just uh, five, uh, sorry, eight uh, seconds. So as you can see, the time is reduced uh, a lot from the first VM to the rest of the of the VMs, and not also the the time. But the deployment, um, but the performance, it's uh, better because you have uh, the image uh, local to the host where you are running the VM. So uh, the, the uh, input-output performance will be better and will be, uh, you will get it the best performance because uh, the, local, the storage is local, okay? So these are the two benefits of this uh, one store solution. One is the... Uh, deployment time and the other is the the input output uh, performance. Okay, so this is more or less the, the demo. What I wanted to show is uh, how uh, you have the cluster and how uh, you can deploy the, the the VMs. Okay, so now let's continue with the presentation. So uh, here I have left you some some useful links. Okay, so you can uh, check it in it your own. So we have three. Uh, different white papers, so you can see the, the open nebula uh, architecture and the, the reference architecture we can we have the, uh, developed and also a few links about uh, how to try open nebula. So we have this mini one tool that is a tool that is um, thought to deploy an open nebula cluster in just few minutes in order to test all this feature and also you have a, a link to this red square a version which is the the latest version is uh, 6.2 version okay so you can see all the the new features all the bug fixing and also all the most important uh, features that are that are uh, include and also i have here some uh, use cases that are related with this uh, it's it's a solution okay so for example you uh, we have the this low latency gaming okay so in this uh, use case, uh, you will see a fully automated deployment of um, gaming servers in uh, 17 locations in the world in just uh, 25 minutes, okay? So you will end up with a fully working um, gaming uh, game server that is going to have low latency because this is located in the, at the edge of your, of your end users. Then we have, for example, another uh, use cases related with live broadcasting, okay? So uh, you can build an on-demand uh, live broadcasting uh, application. So you can grow up and grow down depending on your needs in order to uh, have this uh, low latency between uh, your uh, broadcasting application and your end, end users. Then, uh, for example, we have this uh, IoT uh, use case, okay? So you can... Uh, create, uh, deploy this AWS IoT Greengrass, okay, so uh, you can create a distributed, uh, distributed uh, edge cloud, okay, in order to use these IoT devices. And also we have this Telcon Edge Cloud, okay, so um, with this uh, one edge, with this edge architecture, you can have your central office um, in your, at your edge, okay, so in this case, it's a use case for Telefonica, in uh, Telco in, in Spain. Okay, so their central offices are located at the edge, and the low lat and they get low latency between the office and the and the end user. And finally, we have two um, more use cases um, located more on the on the application itself. So we have this VDI solution in order to have a desktop uh, virtualization. And also this Kubernetes deployment. So using the OneFlow service from Open Nebula, you can deploy a fully uh, working Kubernetes cluster with many nodes that work as a master and as a slave as a normal uh, Kubernetes uh, deployment. Okay. So uh, this has been all from my from my talk. Uh, here you can find some. Uh, information about how to contact uh, Open Nebula. So you have the main email and also the different offices uh, we have around the 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 world. I I hope you have uh, enjoyed uh, the, enjoyed the the talk. And now you can uh, ask me any any question you you have uh, in the chat. So it was a pleasure to to be in this first time 2022. And thank you very much. Uh, see you later.